What is going on guys? It's your boy Redlon. Welcome back to another video. Today we've got a little bit of anthem VIP demo gameplay. Now I'm going to be talking over it and just give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the demo and the game currently so far. Like how the game feels, the combat, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight to it. I don't want to waste any of your time. So, first things first is the demo has had plenty full of issues. Um, I feel like this is necessary to say and explain because obviously, hopefully the devs will fix half of this before the full release of the game. I understand that there is an open beta coming soon as well. Um, but one of the main ones that's been affecting most people, especially me, was the 95% loading screen. Basically, it sounds exactly like what it was. Your loading screen would get to 95% complete and then it'd freeze and then you'd have to close the game, reload it and hope that you get in. Or it would happen again, then you'd have to close, reload, just rinse, repeat. Um, this has been happening to me for like pretty much a day and a half um, and I only managed to actually get on this morning um, and do one mission and then it 95% loading screen again. So I managed to play one mission. Um, Granted, I could have wasted more time and I could have kept closing, reloading, closing, reloading, but I'm not about to sit there and waste, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes of my time um, just to play one mission. I just don't see the point. It's not worth it. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the big issues that's been affecting a lot of people. <laughs> anyway, getting into the actual flow of the game, the movement on the game feels fantastic. I was expecting it to be quite clunky. Um, but I was actually very, very surprised. It runs really smooth. Um, yeah, it just, it just it feels great. Um, the flying, um, I thought, was a really nice feature to the game. Um, like I said, it, it feels really, really good. However, one thing that was, I'm, I suppose I'm 50-50 on it, is the overheating mechanic on the actual flying. Um, at times, you know, you just want to sort of fly around, explore. Um, and go wherever you want without sort of being restricted, but the overheat mechanic sort of stops that um, I guess why they've done this is because obviously, you know, whilst you're in combat if you were just flying around annihilating everything It just be kind of easy, I guess um, But yeah, I suppose that's one thing I'm 50-50 on when it comes to the flying and the movement Next thing getting into the combat I was actually Expecting the gameplay to be quite slow um, but it's actually the complete opposite of that, depending on obviously how you play. Um, but the ability regen is, you know, if you've got two abilities that you have um, on pretty quick cooldowns, about five to seven seconds, I'd say. Then you got your melee ability that cools down really quickly as well, roughly about the same, I'd say, maybe a little bit quicker. Having these three abilities and cooldown um, often, um, being able to use them um, to kill enemies, deal damage, and just sort of mix up the gameplay a little bit is amazing um as someone again who plays a lot of destiny and um, having our grenades and like 30 second cooldowns and all that sort of stuff yeah it's more of a gunplay game this is more of an ability um and movement game i would say so as soon as you perfect the movement and you can fly around and you can do all this sort of stuff and use your abilities wisely rotate them get your supers pretty quickly in this game as well so you can use that to deal massive amounts of damage to the high you know to the that the enemies with lots of health um so yeah overall the abilities i thought were great again i was only able to play one mission um, unfortunately i would really love to play more but like i said i'm just not about to sit here and waste loads of time trying to get on the game um with the issues it currently has um but like i said i do understand that it is a demo um and they're trying to test a lot of this stuff out Another thing that actually surprised me quite a lot was the variety in enemies. Um, whilst flying to the different areas within the mission, um, I saw a lot of different wildlife and different animals, all that sort of stuff, different, um, I suppose you could say, factions of people that you could kill um, and sort of battle with and fight. This is great, in my personal opinion. You know, it mixes up the um, pace of the game a little bit, you know, if different types of. Say if you're fighting flying enemies or you're fighting you know, ground enemies, some of them are armoured, some, you know. There was enough variety there within this one mission that kept me excited throughout the entire thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's nothing really too much else to say um, other than I just wish I could have kept playing. Um, 
it, it definitely feels fantastic. I understand a lot of people are cautious with this game, with it being EA, uh, and I completely understand that. Obviously, Bioware, they obviously did the Mass Effect Andromeda. That was, um, you know, a very controversial game as well. Uh, had its fair share of issues. Also, another thing with the mission that I was playing, I was very, very um, surprised actually with the quality of the cutscenes and the voice acting. Um, again, a lot of people may not care about stuff like that, but I personally do, as someone who likes playing games like The Witcher 3 um, and you know, very story driven games um, in my spare time. Um, I found that to be very, you know, a much pleasant thing, especially when you go to speak to um, Matthias, who's one of the guys in like the social area um, within Anthem. I just think the voice acting was definitely up there, um, you know, comparing it to other games I have played recently. So, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. I'll probably let a look, you know, a couple bit, few more minutes of gameplay roll out for you guys if you want to keep watching. And there you guys. Peace.
Fire security on this one, too. I'm starting the decryption. Let's hope this works. One way to find out. Head back to the ruins and try to open that door. 